animals in the neighborhood. Hi, scientists. This is Mr. Ambrosino. And this is Mr. Siegel. We're from the Environmental Education Program. We heard you were studying about animals, and we'd like to help you on your exciting adventure. Let's take a look. Today, we'll focus on birds that you might find living in the Ann Arbor area. As you learn about animals in the neighborhood, you might go outside to look for clues about animals that live near you. As a student naturalist, a person who studies nature, you can use your senses, like seeing with your eyes, listening with your ears, and smelling with your nose to notice animal clues. Whether you're looking out your window in a sit spot, going for a walk in your neighborhood, or visiting a local park, challenge yourself to stay still for a moment and use your senses to try and notice animals. Bird watching is a popular and fun activity. Birds are all around us, and many bird species can live in cities nearby where people live. Birds often make their homes in trees, and they can fly, so they don't have to cross roads like animals that walk on the ground. If you find a sit spot and stay quiet and observe, you'll start to notice lots of bird activity. Examples of birds that live in our area are geese, red-winged blackbirds, blue jays, and turkey vultures. Though they're less common in the Ann Arbor area than some of these other birds, bald eagles do live in southeastern Michigan and can sometimes be seen soaring in the sky or perching atop trees. Can you think of things that all of these animals have in common? Bird bodies are covered with feathers. They have wings, scaly legs, and a beak with no teeth. Baby birds develop in a hard-shelled egg. Birds are warm-blooded animals with backbones. Another special thing about birds is that many bird species migrate from place to place during the year to search for food. Most Michigan birds that migrate live here during the warm season and travel to other places during the cold winter months. When you find animal clues, you can share what you notice by saying, I see, or I notice. You can also share what you're curious about by saying, I wonder. Can you find a robin near where you live? Robins have orange breasts and bodies that are about eight inches long. Their song sounds a bit like, cheer up, cheerio. You can also look for robin nests, as they often make their homes near or even on people's houses. Robins often take a few running steps and then cock their head to the side. Have you ever wondered why birds like robins tilt their heads before they try to bite something with their beak? What about a hummingbird? Can you spot one of those? You better look carefully, because hummingbirds are tiny and fast. Hummingbirds visit flowers in search of nectar for food. They sometimes can be seen at feeders that people fill with sweet liquid. Perhaps you can even find a tiny hummingbird nest. Hmm, I wonder what hummingbirds use to make their nests. If you want a challenge, you could try to find evidence of an owl living nearby. You can look for holes in dead trees where an owl might make its home. Or if you're really lucky, you might even find an owl pellet, which can tell you what the owl has been eating. You might hear an owl before you see them. But you won't hear them flying. Have you ever wondered how owls can fly silently without making any noise? Finally, a large bird you might find in the woods around town is the wild turkey. Turkeys often travel in groups called a flock or a rafter. You might find their footprints on the ground. You could even see them strutting and displaying their feathers. I wonder why some birds show off their feathers like that. If you are able to go outside to explore with an adult, you can take a photo or draw a picture of animal clues that you find. Then, you can make a recording to tell your class about what you found and what it makes you wonder. And 
whether or not you're able to go outside and explore today. Right now you can draw a picture or make a recording to share something you learned in this video. Can you give an example of a bird that lives in our area and tell something special about it? Hey, thanks for watching scientists. Good luck with your animal studies and hope to see you on a field trip sometime soon.